So I came here to the, the hobby shop and I'm going to go ahead and try these out. These are a little different. In hopes that uh, maybe this has a little bit more turn. So this is what they're from. Alright, so I have resolved this problem we were seeing with a CV joint. And uh, I'm very excited that it finally got resolved. So as you can see, without this being attached, it no longer creates any popping. I got full pressure here. No popping whatsoever. As you recall last time, when I would put pressure here, it was massive popping. Zero popping. You can see the other side. Um, these new CV joints really did the trick. And I'm putting pressure here. As you recall last time. Nothing. It's very smooth. But the process in getting here was a little tricky. Um, there's some little bit of damage that I had to do to the actual CV joints. As I'm going to demonstrate. Um, I actually had to use one of my, I had to use my Dremel. And I had to do the, a nightmare to it. I had to actually drill in. And let me remove this. All right, so I had to um, mill down the aluminum so that I could actually get clearance on this new CV joint. And after doing that, it works very good now. I'm gonna show you guys I'm taking this apart. It's a little painful, but um, that's what I had to do. It hurts a little bit, but oh well, had to be done. So once I milled this, the way it was before was like this. So what was happening is uh, the edge of these new CV joints was uh, hitting. This edge here was hitting. And it was hitting on the outside. It was hitting right here. It was getting caught in this edge right here. So it wouldn't allow it to completely turn. So uh, after I reviewed it, I said, well, it's got to be done. So I basically took my my little Dremel 7300 7, with my uh, drill bit here and just started drilling away, milling down until I cleared out these little bumps. Basically made it almost all, almost started clearing. But these CV joints that I found may have some crazy angle to them. I mean, look at that. And there is no no bumping. It doesn't uh, hit or nothing. I mean, it's huge, huge turn. I mean, I don't need this much. I actually need about this much only. So it's plenty. I mean, these CV joints are great, and they're they work just right for the sprint to drift. Uh, I mean, look at that. It can do quite a bit. Very smooth. No popping. So I'm very happy. I mean, I had to do some some damage, but it's very nice. That's it. Hope so. Hopefully this will help somebody um, after seeing what happened here. Because it was not fun drifting and having everything destroyed. But anyhow, I'm going to piece this back together and then I'm done. Okay, so here I've put my um, seat cups and steering set up here to back together. And uh, one thing you guys are gonna have to do is put a, um, some shims so that um, the, the wheel won't be moving back and forth so much. Um, I basically use one of these. To be honest, I don't know exactly the size, but I have one of these and then one of this these thicker ones. And that seems to be just enough to give me the right tolerance. Uh, see if I can show you guys here. 
I got one more here. So it's one of those, because as you can see, there's quite a bit of distance here between the holes. So it's not an, an entirely a good fit, but once I milled this piece, all the metal in here to do the clearance, it's as smooth as it comes. So I put this one, and I put this one, and then when I put my hex, my hex also has a little extra lip here. So this here will just be enough to complete the, the remainder of the spacing that's here. So it works out really good. And so all I do here is put this in here and then put my hex in here. And so now when I put this in, I just go ahead and tighten it up. And uh, I'm ready to put on my tire. And I'll just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, it's nice and snug. And so I'm excited. <laughs>